it up next. Women know there is more to menopause than just hot flashes. After the break, helping women through their midlife transition. Stay tuned for that. And welcome back. Well, the term midlife crisis isn't just a theory. It's real, and it's when our body changes and the mind and spirit shift with it as well. And joining us now to help women and men understand all the levels of change that occur during the midlife transition is Dr. Rose Kumar, and she wrote this book, Becoming Real, Reclaiming Your Health in Midlife. And we are all absolutely fascinated. Yeah, I'm, we're so With everything that here. this book addresses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let's talk a little bit about, first of all, um, your background mm -hmm. and how you, because you are all about total health and wellness. Yes. In addition to just focusing on, the, you're not just focusing on this particular stage of life. Right, right. Well, I, um, when I went through medical school and my training, I realized very quickly that the emphasis was really symptom management and it was not getting to the root cause of illness. Mm -hmm. So I was a little bit disillusioned and after I worked in corporate medicine, I re recognized that really the focus there is profit margin mm -hmm. and it's very fear-based. So women particularly are feared into doing what the system wants them to do. Mm -hmm. And I started to see a lot of women come in saying, I'm not heard, I'm not listened to, and their symptoms are legitimate. Yeah. And so I really became very interested in focusing on these issues and trying to help not just women, but men understand what they can do, where did their symptoms come from, and how can they um, create shifts and understand how to take care of themselves so that the symptoms disappear and they create a new platform for health. Mm -hmm. you, you have the Omani Center. Yes. And that is in Pewaukee. It's been around for years and years and years. Yes. And um, you're able to cure diseases, uh, oftentimes, without I'm not using medicine. I'm not doing the curing, my patients are. Yeah. So I'm educating them as to what they can do in order to reverse diseases because a lot of diseases have their roots in lifestyle choices. Mm -hmm. uh, and some diseases have their roots in deeper uh, issues such as chronic stress or acute stress or trauma uh, that people just aren't taught how to manage or how to we you know, cover up. Heal. Right. We cover up a lot. <laughs> yeah. Or we feel like weirdly responsible for some of the things that mm -hmm. happen to us that are just a natural shift we have to roll with. Yes. Um, yes. And I want you to talk a little bit about what happens to the body during mm -hmm. midlife because we were during the break discussing how early this actually begins yeah. yes. and how the, the hormonal shifts in women are there. I know they're smaller at first, but how we can start to recognize them a lot earlier and that will help us make the transitions we need. A lot of what I've seen is that hormonal shifts occur around 35. They're starting to occur sooner because of the corrupted food that we're eating, mm -hmm. and that's affecting our hormones. But when women hit that magic number of 35 and above, uh, things start to shift in their bodies, and they start to feel it in different ways. They may start gaining weight, they may start feeling more irritable, they may start feeling more flat, they may get an anxious or depressed, uh, and but they'll start to notice that their perspective is also changing, their perceptions are changing, and what they feel like is depression is not really depression. They mm. just feel this heaviness or this stagnation in their emotion, emotions, and they can't really, you know, manage to hold what they're oppressing in anymore. I mean, we are taught to adapt. We yeah. adapt to survive. And those adaptations stack up in our system. And so what I found is that there's a, a, a parallel between what happens hormonally and what happens in our psyche. Mm. And so really I see this as a tension starts building between the adapted and the true self and so women are really, and men also, with men it's a little different, but women particularly, because the hormones shift, uh, they begin to feel this pull inside mm -hmm. that they can't adapt to things that aren't good for them anymore, that they really want to connect with themselves, they want to repair their relationship with themselves, mm -hmm. and that does affect their body. So yeah. it's this, this uh, layered, interconnected process that really the context of which is not understood in our medical system or addressed. Yeah, well, and that's what I want you to talk about. How does our medical system deal with these symptoms? You know, and, and maybe give some specifics. This symptom is often dealt with like mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. and here's a different way you can do it. So if a woman comes in to a traditional medical doctor with symptoms of 
hormonal shifts and says... So like hot flashes? Not even hot flashes okay. yet, but I'm feeling more anxious. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit more flat. Mm -hmm. They get an antidepressant. Right. right. And what the antidepressant does is it numbs that tension mm -hmm. that is a really, really powerful catalyst for a transformation. And you're mm -hmm. supposed to listen to You're it. supposed right. to listen That's to it. That's your gut talking. Yes. 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 Exactly. So when women end up coming to me, sometimes I'm the last resort. They'll say, I've been on all these antidepressants. My physician didn't listen to me. I was told to g go on birth control because I'm having these changes mm -hmm. and I feel better, but I've gained 15 or 20 pounds on birth control. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do. So I really help them, you know, get conscious of what they're eating because, of course, everything that goes in your mouth affects every cell of your body mm -hmm. and how your body communicates within <coughs> you. Mm -hmm. So all of your systems really rely on the, this multi-layered um, uh, uh, systematic being that you are yeah. that requires attention and consciousness. How do we encourage women to tap into that and to sit with that that tension? Because I think we want to just solve it. Yeah, yes. we want to go problem away. solvers exactly. as women, we just want to make it go. Yeah. So how do you how do you help a woman come to terms with that tension and live with it until you can, you know, move through it? Well, we have to create a context. We have to explain and uh, help women understand what is going on because if we know what's going on then we're not going to be afraid of it right mm -hmm. we're not going to want it to just go away so we have to reframe it from this is a pathology or this is something bad to this is a signal mm -hmm. and this is how you deal with the signal and you have a lot of those um, solutions yes. in your book and yes. that's we're out of time um, but you have to get the book to find them out so here's what you can do <laughs> you can do that and you can learn more as well about the Omani Center by visiting omanicenter.com but again the book is Becoming Real Reclaiming Your Health in Midlife by Dr. Kumar thank you so much for being here thank you for having love me love it all right I